Hey, what's happening, everybody? Got uh, a little video series coming at you. Um, my nephew, Parker Reynolds, is graduating high school, about to go off to college. And for a graduation present, got him one of the Gerber Ultimate. They call it tactical, but it's really the Gerber Ultimate Survival Knife. Um, pretty cool deal. Nice little sheath. It's uh, about half serrated, straight blade the rest. Um, got a little flame logo up here, and that's where they've got a little notch to help with the fire starter. Um, rubberized grip, hammer pommel. Uh, the sheath itself, the stiff nylon. It's cool if you pop the Velcro. The flips down, it's got a sharpener. That Velcroed up. Came with a lanyard that was on the knife. Whistle, and then I attached it to get this. It's fixed in pretty good and has an o-ring to seal it but the fire steel ferromecium ferro rod anywho figured uh, over the next couple of videos I'd throw some together to show some good uses for this and get Parker a good uh, batch of skills going off so figured today start out with the fire starting um, I always like to use a bark or a rock or a piece of wood to light my fire on I've got my washer drum fire pit over here. It's full of um, scratch paper from state testing. It has to be shredded or destroyed, so I figured let's burn it. Um, but I like starting the fire on this because then I can transport it more easily. Uh, a couple of things that good to know. I'm gonna use just some regular toilet paper. Tore off a single ply here. Um, when you're doing this with the sparks, it's good to not just use the toilet paper itself you want to increase the surface area and the fibers and so if you're ripping it up and getting a lot of the jagged edges and you can ball it up and you're kind of as they at Gary Paulson say in hatchet you want to make a, a nest for the sparks and so with all that that's a lot more likely for a spark to catch than just on there now one other little added tip for you Parker and anybody else checking it out um, Chapstick, Carmax, any of those acts as a flame extender. Man, make it so much easier. And just with the weather we have here, I like carrying chapstick on me anyway. But just some standard chapstick here, and I'm gonna show you a quick example. Let me tear a little piece off here. And if I were to light this just with the lighter, and this electric lighter, it's gonna go up quick. You know, as soon as it lights, boom, that's gone. Now, if I were to get that chapstick on there, and it might give a little, little color change here so you can see, and Carmex is easier because you can really work it in. But with that worked into it, and all I did was a couple of, you know, just to get it on there, if I light that same thing, and I'm actually gonna do it at the tip of my knife because when I did this earlier, it's almost more like a candle, and it, acts as an extender so that other one was already burned out and gone by now and just by having that chapstick on there that wax and the petroleum acts as a flame extender and you buy yourself some extra time to be able to get um, your tinder whatever you're lighting and get it into the fire itself so I'm gonna take the one I shredded up here I'm gonna get some chapstick on there um, especially because I'm gonna take it from the the piece of wood here and transfer it from the wood into the fire pit get those test notes cooking um, again where I got the chapstick just kind of ripping it up and you can see it on there maybe uh, just pretty similar in color but once the other stuff gets burning it'll get that too and all that's left to do get this guy out and you might say well you just have the lighter just use that well yeah, but if we're out and about, maybe hunting, hiking, fishing, who knows. If you've got this in your pack or on your waist, that much easier, you don't need a lighter. So, a couple of ways to drag it. And depending on where you're starting the fire or the type, sometimes I'll put the tip down and drag the knife to it. Um, if you want to focus it, you can hold the knife where you want it and draw that up but either way I want to get a good shower of sparks down onto here to catch the fiber 
and that would have caught if I had it a little more fuzzied up. So now that's going. I've got a little bit of time, I can transfer it in. Get my other stuff eating and cooking. We'll probably see some flames coming out of here momentarily. Oh yeah. So anyway, video number one. This works great to start yourself a fire. Just great to have if you're out and about. Even in the car, wherever, just a handy backup, solid knife. But I'll do a, I'll do a series because I've got a whole bunch of different things I'll use my other survival knives for. And this one being no different, I will go through. Super tough and uh, show some other good, good uses, fire related, survival and otherwise. So. Anyway, man, congratulations, Parker. We're all proud of you. Look forward to getting out and doing some outdoor fun together. And uh, hope you enjoy.